this plant, do not put it in your salad because it'll kill you. Kill you dead. Kill you dead. We're not gonna die. Remotely close. This is flirting out harder than I thought. <laughs> So we just went on vacation. We came back and forgot to buy groceries. So we don't have any fresh vegetables. We have nothing. So we're gonna make a salad out of things we can find in nature. Let's get some fire wreath. Okay. Uh, fire you find the plants, I'll teach about the plants. And we're gonna make a spruce tip vinaigrette. Dang. I know. Yeah, that's fancy. Small stuff is best. Nice and tender. Oh, oh. This is a perfect. Okay. Fire weed is a flower, what would we call it? Purple? Pink? Purplish pink. Purple pink starts to grow in places where there's a wildfire. What it does during the summer is it blooms from the bottom to the top. By the time the bloom gets to the top, summer's over. It's like the summer clock. You look very concerned back there. You have, my hair is stuck to it somehow. What? I don't know. Let's not eat that one. <laughs> How is that happening? What if what? Then consider it you're getting enough fiber. Plant number two. Fiddleheads. Fiddleheads. Those are just young little ferns. So as the fern is uh, blooming, blooming, blossoming, blo as they're blooming, poke out of the soil and they come out all curved up like this, kind of like the top of a fiddle. I think we have to blanch these, don't we? Yeah. Just real quick, and then throw those in your salad. Dandelions. Uh, what would you say about dandelion? If you don't know what a dandelion is. This Where you fun. been? Dandelions are cool because you can eat every single part of the plant. The flowers are really good for rabbits. They have a lot of vitamins. They have more vitamins than carrots. In case you're wondering, <laughs> the heads of the dandies, you can dip them in flour, or, you know, dip them in batter and fry them. That sounds good. Today's fresh day. Fresh and healthy. Salad. No free, no, no, free, no, no, mm. Hmm. What if this is gross? Then we gotta fake it. Hold a stir or stone. Wow, my words. You gotta just like, you gotta, um, give me some words, help me. There was a Friends episode where they're like, how do you pretend you like something? And so you're supposed to rub your tummy and say, mmm. Now this one. Oh, my voice echoes in the bowl. Can you hear that? It's just me. It might just be me. Anyway, this plant, do not put it in your salad because it'll kill you. Kill you dead. Kill you dead. It's called false hellbore. If that's not a name that makes you not want to eat it, I don't know what would be. What you got? For the dressing, oh, I need your bowl. Load me up, my echo bowl. Spruce tips, little tiny new fresh growth of spruce trees. They're very citrusy. Tangy, and they'll be perfect for dressing. Hopefully. Do you ever just feel a little tired? You keep me anchored. Cause it's an anchor. Blap, <laughs> <laughs> blap. Now this little pink guy, Siberian miner's lettuce. What? I don't have anything cool to say about miner's lettuce, do you? It's pretty. Uh, I'll make. I'll make. Guys still pee over here. Hmm. Off of that. Uh, let's go find another patch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I found a, a bonus plant. Watermelon berry shoots. Oh, that's disgusting. Also known as twisted stock. It's called twisted stock because look, the uh, the stock is twisted. Duh. It's oh, just a really pink cool. thing. I'm putting it in. She can't stop me. What'd you find? I gotta make up a fact about miner's lettuce though. Siberian miner's lettuce. Called so because the Siberians when they were here mining back in the 1450s was one of the few plants that they knew was safe so they ate this to prevent scurvy and diarrhea. Facts. Really? I tried, I don't know. <laughs> Here's a fact, it comes in purple and white. No Boom. it doesn't. That, that actually looks like it'll be really good. Yeah. Don't eat it yet. Get yeah. out. Say, do something cool. Let's get some dinner going. Okay. What percentage of our videos do you think end up back in the kitchen? A lot. Or did you want to wash these or are we just going wild style? We should at least rinse them. That's your job. Little fern tippies. You gotta blanch them. Careful, you could have splashed yourself. Let's go for like, like two minutes and then you cool them off. Miss Glenn. Okay, give me the poops. Spruce tip, vinaigrette. Very fancy. I think we need to put the lemon juice in. I feel like we should just add it after. Who's the chef? Okay. Trust me. Do you remember the lemon rest? The do 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 uh. Start over. <laughs> what? Do you see that? Mmm. Always put a little bit of mustard in your vinaigrette. Spruce tips. 
most of them. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You're acting like you like have made this before. I have. That's a horrible face. It was me trying to wink. Like a chef. I know that looked really fancy. Some sugar, because the vinegar needs a little bit of sweet. Now I make noise. Oi! Wow! What about our fiddleheads? They're done! Whoa! Cool them down! So those are done. Those can hang out in there for when, for when you rinse all your greens. Can I use a rubber scraper? Oh, a spatula. Scraper. A spatula. Wanna smell it? Oh, I do. I smell it already. Wow! And we're gonna do half and half. Canola and extra virgin because I make the rules. Now you gotta pour it in slow. That's the tip. Did you hear the difference? Yeah. It started getting thicker. A little bit more, a uh, little bit of sweet. A little bit more sweet. We have spruce tip sugar that I made for everybody. I should have used that. Oh yeah, that's creamy. Proper and vinaigrette. Nailed it. It's the ones I don't want, the watermelon berries. <coughs> you don't want those? Those are yucky. Let's put these aside so you, you really can... don't want them? I really don't want them. They're yucky. <laughs> Well, while you're faffing about pulling all my hard work and picking out, I'm gonna go get the garnish. Uh, so these are salmonberry flowers. At the very center at each of these flowers, there's a little sweet bit of nectar that all the bees are going for. And it's delicious. Oh. Restaurant top tip, dress the bowl, not the leaves. Smear it around the bowl, throw your salad in there, and then you, you toss the salad. That's what you do. Careful, don't splash me. I'm wearing my flower pants. Because we're eating plants! Flower power. For plating salads, plate them tall. Makes, mm -hmm. them, makes them look good. Oh, I'm not a neat animal. Gotta get them off of this thing. Oh, I thought you were gonna eat this stem. I'm not a not a deer. You're my deer. You're not. You're right. You're mm -hmm. right. You're absolutely right. Yes, yeah, so you can go with, wait at the table. Look at those! Fireweed, fiddlehead, dandelion, miner's lettuce. That's about it. That's about it. Salad with our house-made spruce tip vinaigrette. Salmonberry flower garnish. For dessert here on the side, salmonberry sweet centers. Oh. So once you finish your salad, you can just suckle on that a little bit and a little dessert. Get a little bit of... Oh, that's... oh I didn't chop him down enough. Oops. <laughs> my sous chef didn't chop my lettuce. Shh. It tastes like a salad. Ooh. What happened there? What was that? I had a burst of flavor. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Those fiddleheads. Did you hear me? The key? Mm-hmm. Mine's the same, but it's got watermelon berry in it. Or twisted sock. Sock. Twisted sock. The worst thing to have in your boot is a twisted sock. It tastes like a salad. It's a salad. <laughs> for, for, for not ordering groceries, we're not gonna die. I like the vinaigrette a lot. Yeah, me too. It's pretty good. It wouldn't, it's not as good as taco night would have been. I still gotta swallow my, uh, nature. Might need more than that. I did want to say it, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> Time for dessert. Mmm, that's so good. I maybe have eaten like 20 of these today. I want more dessert. Tough. That's all you get. Dang it. Do you have a Tacos? Closing?